right, today we're talking about sprockets and sprocket guards. Sprocket guards have been super popular, so we're mostly gonna talk about those, but we'll talk about other sprockets as well that are non-guarded. So let's start with Odyssey. Odyssey's been really, really popular, definitely one of the best sellers. These are the LaGuardias, and this is the utility sprocket. Comes in 25 and 28, and let's talk more about some guards. We got a Primo sprocket guard, 25 and 28. This is the We The People Pathfinder. This is a really, really good looking one. That comes in 25. Cult stuff has been really popular. That is the Panza guard with, in plastic, and it comes in a 25 and a 28. This is the DAC, 25 and 28. This is all metal. BSD Jones and Sprocket has been really popular. The Shadow Sabotage Sprocket's been really popular, 25 and 28 in that. With Fiend Sprockets have been really good. There's uh, two models of this. this and then there's the Palmier, and then this is the new one. And you can actually see the chain inside the teeth. So that one looks really cool. Another cool Odyssey one is the Boyd Hilder. This comes in a 25, 28, and a 30. And then for Cult, this is the NWO Sprocket that's non-guarded, and this comes in a 25, a 28, and a 30. And a couple other honorable mentions is the Old School Harl Sprocket. And there's a volume sprocket over there, Primo, Primo Richter sprocket there. And then the Sunday Sabretooth comes in three sizes, 25, 28, and 30. So uh, if you want to go a little bit retro, GT and Haro have some retro guarded sprockets. That's the Nuke, like the Dave Mira Nuke. And we also have the last thing, the Animal Guarded Sprocket, and this is USA made. So you got a lot of choices these days for sprockets. And uh, we hope that our buyer's guide helps you a little bit with choosing something. Thanks for watching.